Hey everybody, I'm Jonathan Snowick coming at you with this week's Step Beyond Green to Healthy V blog, continuing our series on water. Today we're talking about municipality water, that's right. Um, and there's the lead and the chlorine, kind of the two big topics that we've had over the last couple months. I'm not going to focus so much today about lead. Uh, I think we've kind of overrun that topic of lead and the lead in the water system supplies. Uh, we're going to talk about chlorine though. Um, chlorine has been used since 1850 in the municipal water lines as a way to treat the water for bacteria. Uh, the thing people don't really talk about why we have chlorine in there, it's not necessarily um, for us in the house, it's, act, it's actually because what can we not count on is that the water from the treatment plant right to our house that nothing happens to it. What I mean by that is water main breaks. Let's talk specifically about the city of Milwaukee. Um, from 2005 to 2017, they experienced 575 water main breaks annually during that time period. So annually, 575 breaks annually. That is crazy. Now what does that equate to? That is a little over one and a half main breaks a day. Wow. One and a half main breaks a day. So what does that mean with the chlorine? So the reason we put chlorine in there is so that when that water main break happens, things are sucked into it like dirt and other types of things and so that's kind of a perfect uh, line for which bacteria to grow in. So they put the chlorine in there in order to kill all that bacteria along its journey all the way to the end. Now surprising fact about chlorine, I'm going to read this to you because the American Journal of Public Health says up to two thirds of harmful effects of chlorine are due to inhalation and skin absorption while showering. So although we need it to get from the treatment plant to the house, we don't necessarily want it inside our house to have it touch us or we need to drink it. Uh, you can, can actually, you have to drink a gallon of, of water um, in order to equate 15 minutes of the same amount of chlorine in your body in a shower. That's crazy. So a 15 minute shower is the equivalent to drinking a gallon of water as far as chlorine goes. And we talk about chlorine can be skin irritation. So if you ever get out of the shower and you're red or dry skin, a lot of people equate dry skin to just, you know, it's not humid in the air. Could be because of the chlorine in your water. So we just scratched the surface on the fact that, you know, we need chlorine in the municipal water lines to get from the treatment plant to our house. We want to eliminate it inside of our house because it's not good for us. And to learn more about chlorine, give us a call and we'll walk you through how to protect yourself in your, in your home. I'm Jonathan Sinovic. We'll see you next week on our V-Blog.